Hi guys, in this video today I'll be reviewing and shooting the BSA Scorpion chambered in 22 calibre. There will be two parts to the video, the first part consisting of the actual review, then the second part will be putting the gun through its paces. So let's get started. As you can see, the gun has a nice woodstock, making it ideal for hunting or target shooting. The total length of the gun is 36.5 inches making it a nice, short, versatile unit for the average hunter. Only weighing at 3.5 kilos makes it an ideal gun to shoot for long periods of time without making the hunt or shoot uncomfortable. The slick bolt action makes it so much easier not only to get a follow-up shot if needed, but facilitates easy action cocking and loading. Very much pulling straight back and forward which then puts another pallet in the breech. Fairly simple. With BSA precision rifling for match accuracy, it comes fully floated with a highly effective muzzle brake as standard. The gun has very nice checkering as seen on the woodstock. Not only durable and comfortable to shoot, but the butt pad is very nice. It's not really needed on PCP air guns as there's really no recoil at all. In 22 calibre, the gun produces 818 feet per second, or 249 metres a second, and will take animals such as pests, birds, rabbits, etc. with no problem at all. With the built-in pressure gauge, it makes the user's job easy to know when it needs filling up, which can be done using either a scuba tank or a hand pump. The magazine that is used in the rifle is colour coded with all your different calibres. This one being in 22, it's coloured red and it shoots up to 10 shots, making it nice, really easy. The trigger on the gun is a two state adjustable, giving the user plenty of customization as to whether they need a lighter one or heavier. And as standard, it comes fairly heavy with a fair bit of creep. The scope on the gun is a BSA 3 to 9 by 40 mm giving the user the ability to zoom in when out in the field to ensure they're getting clean and effective kills. So these are the pallets I'll be using, they are JSB Exacts 16.1 grain and I'll be shooting a distance of 30 meters.
So as you can see, this is the trigger. Um, this is how it shot factory, but it can be, um, it's a two-stage, so it can be adjusted if you need. But um, yeah, for my personal preference, I would like it adjusted, but just for the review, it's stock standard. Alright guys, just to conclude the review, I'll just give you my final thoughts. Overall, the gun's a really nice package. For what it is, what it cost, you get the the air scope and the gun, the magazine. Um, you either choose a scuba tank um, to fill it up or a hand pump. In this case, I chose the hand pump. Um, it is more, to, it's about you know, roughly about $300 to buy. Um, it is hard work, but yeah, if you don't want to constantly go to the scuba tank shop and fill it up with air, well, the choice is yours. But overall, it's a really nice package. Um, the bolt works extremely well. The scope on it's really nice and clear, clarity-wise. The only thing I um, didn't like on it was a trigger. Um, it was just a bit too much creep for me. By the time I did pull it in, I was moving off the target most of the time. But that can be adjusted um, to your personal preference. Not everyone likes it adjusted. They like it out the way it is, but... In this case, I just left it as factory just to see how it did, and it, you know, grouped really well at 30 meters. It got 20 mil groups, not bad. Um, you know, if that was pest birds or rabbits that were being cleaned dead, no problem. Um, yeah, it's a really nice. It's a small gun. Um, didn't weigh that much surprisingly. Uh, even that nice wood on it, the checkering's superbly done. Made in England, so it's a good quality gun. If you're looking for a nice new air gun in 22 caliber, you can get it in 177 or 25. Um, they make it in synthetic as well. So yeah, head over to uh, victorianarms.com.au. Um, there's also Bakels. We sell day states, BSAs, and Gamo. But yeah, I'll put the link of the website in the description and um, yeah, ha have a look, see what you reckon. And yeah, but overall. Um, the gun shot really well, really happy with it, and um, I'll see you in the next video.